presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. I'm kicking it to September tomorrow, folks. You're going to love it. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you, you what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 150, Nasdaq off 21, SPs down 14 and a half, gold contract down $12.10, trading at 1724 an ounce. We had silver down 37 cents, $17.91 an ounce, light sweet crude off 245, $89.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down five ticks, trading 116.27. The 30 year off 16 ticks at 136.09 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 138 ticks, trading 108.636. The Euro is at one, the Yen is at 138. The British Pound is at 116 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna well, know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, what I expect you to see out here the next couple days, folks, is that this is going to be building cause for the next leg down. You know, this is actually the, yeah, so we'll see how it shakes out. But that's, that's you got Wednesday, we're at Wednesday, bottom line, Thursday and Friday, volume's going to get lighter. You're going to be bouncing around this whole area three or four days. Come back next Tuesday, and I expect you're going to take the next leg down. So when we're taking a look at this, let me show you this for a second, because you had the sign of, the sign of strength here going back on the 27th, right? Bottom line, you get that sign of strength. You know, you're coming into that sign of strength right now in the SPY, as well as the Qs. But now let me show you the Dow Industrials, because you're always looking for clues, man. Like, okay, where's this baby want to go? What's it want to do? These indices always love being in harmony. That's the bottom line. Well, you can see what, what has happened out here. The bottom, uh, let me see, make sure I get the, get the day before. No, that's the wrong one. Okay, one second. There we go. So if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that the Dow, bottom line, you know, yesterday it got down there, closed out it. Today you're breaking it. So you're breaking the sign of strength. So when you're breaking the sign of strength, the way I'd look at this, there's a couple different ways. The first way, you go like this. If I take, well, actually, the first way you go like this. This is pretty cool, actually. Let's do this. So let's picture that you're building another ABC structure down because we're in an ABC down market. I mean, last Friday when it broke, it broke everywhere and there's so many ABC downs, you didn't have enough money to trade them all, uh, shot them all, still trading them. So let's take a look at this. You get 33,364 is your A point. I, that's what I'm saying that I'm, I'm speculating this, okay? I'll take the B point out here today. It's 31,624. 31624. That gives us a 1740A to B. Now let's picture by the time we close Friday that this is actually going to bounce back up into the down of Monday. So I'm going to say that the B point, the C point rather, is going to be 32,278. Okay, so that gets us a price projection of 30538 
And let's go see where this is. 30,775. 30,660. 30,000. This is cool, man. Okay. I'm gonna, now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this, folks, and put this on a weekly, right? Because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the highs of the lows. So the high of the low is 31,144. And this is saying 30,538. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go right into this thing, man. That's how this is shaking out. And you can imagine, if that's what we do, the nervousness that will come in the marketplace. It'll be big. And if we come into this, now, now the next move on this, right, what you're going to do in the next move, folks, is that you're taking a look. Let me pull this this way. Because what you'd want to do is that you want to take a look at these bottom figures. The first bottom figure we go into with that's the, the 14th. The low is the 17th. That was 14th of July. Well, here, let me just take this. I'm going to take the low because the low is June 17th. And then we get over and we're looking for, we're going to look for the, the volume on June 17th. And here we are right here. Oh, look at that volume. Oh, this is nice. See, this is cool, man. So look at this, folks. The 17th. See the 17th? The volume was 3.4 billion shares. Okay? Now, that's really going to be hard to break 3.4 billion shares. So I suspect what you're going to see is that we're going to set up an ABC structure, potential ABC structure. It's going to go after it. It's going to go down into it, and we'll see whether it can break it. You know, it's a nice setup, man. That's the real bottom line. Um, out here today, um, absolute mind blower that the futures, you know, went up, for, you know, present from the trading gods this morning. There's no doubt about that. And this morning, you know, if you're trading these markets, folks, okay, you have to basically look at these world markets. This morning, the whole world, okay, was red. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you know, the futures are up 20, 25 bucks. The N NQs are up, you know, 80 to 100 bucks. I mean, it gave it up in a heartbeat. That's the typical situation, folks, that, you know, you have banking desks overnight. They can push it, push it, push it all night long. As they're pushing it, they're actually going short the market. That, that's how this thing shakes out. That's technically how it shakes out. So you better pay attention to it, man, because every sell-off, every Rally is a sell-off. I mean, in a, in a monster way. Dollar. Let's go over to that dollar. So you take a look at the dollar, and what you're going to have with the dollar here is this, this: this will not back off these highs. So the longer that we stay up here, the higher probability that we're going to break it. Now, if we break it, it's going to be heavy, man. <laughs> um, the scenario that I just laid out with. The market going to the lows and, and, and finishing ABC structure would be saying that it might get above it and then get back below it. Because if it goes to where I'm going to show you right now, you're going to have some destruction in the marketplace. Because the all-time high is 121, 620. And that's what I actually started the gold report. And, you know, there's nothing in the way to stop this. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 110. Nasdaq's up three. S&P's uh, down eight. Let's go into the NDX 100. Take a look at the strength versus the weakness in there. You got Pindor Dual, <clears throat> excuse me, folks, up six and a half percent. Baidu's up five. Facebook's up four. And JD.com's up three. Taken away from it. Crowdstruck is down 4.7 percent. You got AMD down 2%, Splunk is down 2 and Moderna is off 2. Inside of the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. What do we have inside the Dow Industrials point-wise here? So you get uh, Amgen putting 13 positive points, Microsoft 4, Big Mac 2, taken away from it. Home Depot, minus 17, Salesforce minus 16, you get Chevron minus 10. Let's get over and we take a look at this uh, oil market. So oil, no doubt, crude, here's the active, okay. So we, t we take a look at this oil market. You got your 218, you're trading 89.45. And, okay, let me get this volume in here. Okay, so, you know, this is going to get interesting here in the oil market because what's going on is that, you know, you get some volume here, man. This is going to, this is going to try to get out into the lows of uh, 85. Now, let's do this. Let's go CL1. And CL1, folks, is the continuous contract inside oil. We take this, we put this on a weekly. Yeah, this could be a big ABC down. This is pretty cool. Okay, so this is going to get interesting because the A point on this is 123. The B point is 85. You know, so we're talking about what? 85, uh, 43, which could get, oh, this would be cool, man. Yeah, this, hey, this is, this is going to be a big deal. As this goes after it, this is going to be a big deal, man. That's the bottom line. This could be definitely an ABC down. Now, what's intriguing, folks, <clears throat> inside of the oil market is this. You heard the aspect of, um, you know, the European Central Union, the United States, everyone's putting sanctions on Russia, okay, going into Ukraine. Well, you had a couple different things take place that it stopped the flow going into Russia for all of about three weeks. They're, they're making more money in oil now than they did before the invasion of 
Ukraine. The reason I'm bringing this up, okay, is that watch how the, what has happened here. So, picture, commodities trade in dollars, right? Bottom line, the sanctions go in. Everyone that is going to trade Russian oil have to trade it some way outside of dollars. But I want to, I want to walk you through this, and you can pull this article up. This article was in the Wall Street Journal about three or four days ago, maybe five days ago. Really great article, man. And what it was is this. So watch how this shakes out. And put, but what you want to do is understand how, how the trading in oil works in general, okay? So when we look at these prices, right, for oil folks, you look at this price right here, $89. Oil's not going for $89. Oil's going for $89 in the futures market, okay? There's, there's discounts out there at $60, $50, $40, all of the above, right? Well, what has happened, there's, there's a couple of different things that happened. One of the first things that happened that is really let me, I'll lay it out and you can see how corrupt the whole freaking business is, okay? So, Saudi Arabia, right? You know, after, you know, us in Saudi, we basically drill about the most oil out there. Well, what also happens, it takes oil to basically run everything, right? So, what Saudi's done now is this. Saudi is actually buying Russian oil because they can get Let's say the benchmark price, that's 89 bucks, okay? They can get the 89 bucks. They can buy the discounted oil off Russia for, who knows, 40, 30, I don't know what that price is, okay? But it's a big discount. So what they've been doing, they've been bringing oil into Saudi, using that oil to run all their facilities, selling the oil out. That's one part of it, right? The reason I'm bringing this up, and I'm gonna show you how the aspect that I think oil is gonna go lower. So technically, to me, it wants to go lawyer, but fundamentally, when you see how this shakes out, they, re they really explained this so dramatically. It was so cool, man. Okay, now, <coughs> that's a lot of oil that's going there. <coughs> the other oil that Russia is selling, okay, has to do with Asia, Indonesia, okay, pushing you know, they, they haven't taken sides in the Ukraine, Russia, U.S., you know, trilateral there, okay? So, what happens here is this. Now, listen, listen how this shakes out, because this is one of these things, uh, don't see, don't tell, which is such BS, it's unbelievable. Okay, so listen to this, how this goes. When oil's getting shipped, and you're going to see this, when oil gets shipped, okay, what happens is that the insurance is one of the biggest deals on the shipment of oil as it's getting shipped. So, the large super tankers, okay, can't get in and basically get filled up in the Russian ports to come back out. The reason being, of course, you can see them, right? So the way that the Russians are doing it, and now this is my, this is my take on reading this article, that the insurance companies, including the banks, okay, are in on this whole freaking thing, man, which is a really a trip. So what they do is that you push a couple of big super tankers out into the ocean, right? The smaller tankers go out, they fill the super tankers. The insurance company plus the bank will insure them because they, they, they feel that they're covered because of the fact that they can prove that a super tanker is not, has not been seen in the destination where they're loading oil. They write, of course, a different destination on it. Bottom line, that's a huge amount of oil that's also coming in, and that's going everywhere, that, that, that product. Now, this is where it gets really wild, and this is where I don't think it will ever change again, and this is what it is. When you have an aspect that it's always traded in dollars, and then you've got around all the restrictions, in fact, they got not only around the restrictions, they got around the restrictions, made more money, and they're pouring oil into the marketplace. Now, at some point, that will stop in the future, five, six, 10 years, whatever that is, because they're not getting enough of the steel and everything else, not necessarily steel, they're steel, but the software and everything else that comes into the production of oil, 
Okay, but that being said, what you have is that the bottom line is that they're pushing oil out at a very inexpensive price. And so as you see this, right, they're just gonna keep pushing it out, man. And this price that we're looking at is not real. That's my take on it, man. And I think, I think oil's going lower, man. And it's because of all of the above. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 165. You get the NASDAQ off 14. S&Ps are off 15. Okay, so we just set up the aspect of where I think this thing's going to go. You know, it, that, what I'm talking about, I'm able to talk about you know, this, this number, the next, yeah, week, week and a half. Like, we come back Tuesday, I suspect. Uh, it'll get a little tricky Tuesday and Wednesday, but, you know, after that, my take is going down there. So, it's the end of the month, right? So, now, that the scenario we just set up would be the scenario that we go to the lows of June, but they hold, okay? Now, I'm going to set up the scenario that... We're in a much larger ABC structure down. And what's cool, folks, about ABC structures in general and Fibonacci in general is that they're basically, well, Fibonacci is definitely a leading indicator, okay? An ABC structure, you're, you're 
in both cases, just speculating where it would go. But you should always be speculating, you know, which, well, we all are speculating which way the market's going to go, right? What I'm going to do right here is that technically what we're going to do is that we're going to set up saying, okay, what if the whole leg, the first leg, is an A to B? Okay? Because what has happened is this. The volume characteristic is right for an A to B, a potential ABC structure down. Uh, if you have out of time in the trade, if you don't have it, just go to you know Amazon. Uh, bottom line, an ABC structure down or up, folks, is that you come down with volume, you bounce with light of volume, you come back down, you break a B point, you do it with volume, and you know that's you have either a one to one price projection, a one to point three eight two, one to five zero, one to one point six one eight. So let's just do these numbers just so we could see in the spy where we would end up. So you'd have four seventy nine ninety eight. Yeah. So four seventy nine ninety eight. And I'm doing the spy because it has the volume. It has you know it's the S and P, the whole ball of wax. Three sixty two seventeen. Minus 362.17 gets you, so it's 117, seems like it's more than that. Oh, there you go. One second. That doesn't make any sense. 479, 479.54 minus 362.17. Yeah, 117. That, oh, I, it's not the futures. I'm so used to dealing with the futures. Okay. Okay, so A to B is 117.37. The C, I'm going to say, is the high that we've already generated in August, okay? Minus 431.73. It's going to get you 314. Now, this is where this gets wild, man. Yeah, 314 brings you down to the next level, man. 314. Look at this, man. This is, this is, yeah. Oh, boy. I think this is it. And this is what it is. 314, okay? We, you know, we, we talked about this a long time ago. That would be the high of the low of the COVID low in March. 313.84 is the number. So that's another way of looking at it. Now, the, the reason that you want to lay do these and lay these up folks is that what happens is that if in fact we first off do the abc structure down as we when we come back to work you see the market starting to go sideways again if it bounces with light volume you're out, that's the, the probability goes tremendously much higher that you're going to come down you're going to break the b and we're going to go to the highs of the lows. And the way that you look at this, okay, so when you bring this up, let me put this up on, got to put it up in a monthly. Because what you can be doing is you be, can be gauging what the volume is as you run through the month. Now, the volume to break the B point of 362.17 would be 1.9 billion shares, you know. Um, Bottom line, this is going to get really intriguing, man. Uh, that's that's where this comes down, and this looks to me, it's they couldn't hold, you know, it couldn't even. Let's see what this did. We bring this up. Yeah, see this. Uh, it, it, look at this, man. You know, you know what it almost did. It almost did a 0.618 retracement, and it didn't. If it, if it had done a 0.618 retracement, then you'd make the argument, I'd make the argument that, okay, you're not going to break out the lows. Hey, we're going to see where this shakes out, man. Uh, but keep this in mind, because the bottom line is that markets love testing high volume lows, of course. What they also love doing when, when you get major bottoms is that they test the high of the low. And, you know, bottom line, if you get the high of the low, um, people will be scared at that particular point, but guess what? 
that would be um, that would be a good buying point. And, you know, that would be quite a retracement. So retracement-wise, let's just go look at this retracement-wise of the whole deal. I think it's going to be like a, it's going to be a big number, man. Take this up. Oh, yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's a 618 retracement. That's what it is. Of the whole move. That would put some damage on the marketplace. That will put some real damage on the marketplace. Because that, of course, that brings you back to the price point of, you know, when we're talking about the S&P, brings you back to like the 31, the 30, 3150 to 3200. And if you're a fundamentalist, okay, um, the bottom line is that I suspect plenty of fundamentalists are already there. The reason being, folks, is that, so picture, when you're a fundamentalist, okay, you are trading on the earnings of the S&P 500. Well, we've never had um, a downdraft uh, and still a laying out an 18 multiple and the S&P, and that's, we're at a 19 multiple right now, you know, okay? When it hit the, the lows, you're at 18 multiple, it doesn't happen. You go to an 11 and 12 multiple. That's, that's how downdrafts happen. So we'll see how the rest of it shakes out. And on that scenario, I suspect what we're gonna see is that you're gonna see the dollar basically break those highs, you know? So, you know, you're trying to put these little tiny pieces together <coughs> so you can understand how this market moves. And uh, we could, let's go over to the gold contract because, you know, gold is actually held up in a market that just keeps getting smoked. And even the dollar, you know, like you can see this today. There's only 165,000 contracts. And um, bottom line, you're coming into the lows. So the last low, the tie of the low was 37. You're 21. So that says, that says gold's going to the low, man. That's uh, that's it's going to be interesting. You got you got. Oh, look at this. What is that? One fifty six. Yeah, you got a small ABC down right now in gold. The eight points. You stay right there, folks. We got a small ABC down in gold right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Dow Industrials down one seventy one. Nasdaq off eighteen. S and P's down seventeen. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 153. NASDAQ down 4. S&P's uh, down 14. So let's get over to that gold contract because what you're going to see here, you got a confirmed ABC structure down. Now, it's only a small ABC, but it's an ABC that's going to bring you to the lows. So, okay, so we got the daily up. Move this back just a little. Let's put the volume on this. Okay, so you take a look at this. We have, I'm just setting this up. Okay, so your eight point here is 1778 from, uh, uh, let's let's see. It's Wednesday. That's last Wednesday. Well, it's last Wednesday. Okay, your B point is 1749. Your C point was the high of yesterday, which is a uh, 1752. You can see you're breaking the the B point. The B point had 156,000 contracts. You got 166. Now the ABC structure down gives you a price projection of 1705, and your low is seven is 1696. So that's telling me this thing's going to go down. You know, we'll see whether it holds, but the bottom line, you get an ABC structure down. It's going to come into that level. That, where that goes, of course, okay, that goes right back to the dollar. It's like, okay, the dollar wants to pop. So, important to understand. Um, we go look at the trend. The bottom line is that you still get buyers. Look at this number. You know, less than yesterday, the bottom line, you get eight. Eight six. That's that's get. That's good. <laughs> it's better than yesterday. I can tell you that. Uh, but the bottom line still way too high. Not even close. Um, and then we look at the tick. Uh, we we got the first down tick yesterday. What does happen, folks, is that you're looking for the second down tick to be seventy percent of the first down tick, and you cannot use the opening ticks. The opening ticks are always explosive. Uh, in this particular case, nine seventy one. Oh, this is cool, man. So look at this. Okay, so here, what we do have here is this. We got a second down tick. You get a minus uh, 1498. So you have one part of this deal, meaning the ticks have come in. And so with, this is wild how this works, okay? So I've seen this before when the ticks come in and then the trend doesn't, right? When you're looking for a bottom, folks, you need all three. You need the ticks to come in, you need the trend to come in, and then you need a rejection of lower price. So what you like to see is like this, this tick reading would be good for three or four days. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, you, you can basically stretch that three or four days. If the, um, you know, the arms basically, you know, got blown out and then you got a rejection, that would be, that'd be a good scene. What I suspect is going to happen, and I've seen this plenty of times, is that you get the two down ticks and nothing else comes into harmony with it. And all that is, is that you get a sideways move like we're moving, everyone gets relaxed again, and then ba-boom, it, it takes it, it takes itself. And we'll see where this is going to go, man. Um, it's, it's, there's no doubt that uh, you get a lot of moving pieces here. And then if we go over to the Fed fund rate, you're going to see that, you know, we're not even close to where they're going to go. 
you know, you know, 2.25 to 2.5. You know, upper band is 2.5, lower band is 2.25. Um, you know, pretty wild in general uh, that how it shakes out. Now, I want to bring something up about Hot Lodge funds, how they make money, because I got it beautiful. So check this out. This is, you know, we always hear, yeah, look at this. Apollo's bankrupt lighting firm paid $525 million in dividends. So we've heard this a million times, folks, okay? So you got these large private equity firms that take out, they buy out other companies, right? Public companies. So it's always, if there wasn't public company, then they're going to bring it public. So in this particular case, you had uh, this company that's going BK, right? Bottom line, Apollo Management, you know, bought it, and they put in, so this is what's really cool, they put in approximately $300 million, okay? They got a loan this is at $1.15 billion. But watch what they did, man. It, and this happens every single time that private equity firms buy a company, folks. What they do is they, they take their dividends out immediately. They go, they, the bank, they go to the bank, they load it up with debt, the bank knows that as soon as they load it up with debt, they're going to take their dividends out. And look at this. They took out $500 million, okay? They, they, they acquired this in 2017. So they, the $300 million they put up, they put, it was probably out there for 30 to 90 days or something, right? <laughs> because in 2017 and 2018, they paid themselves $525 million in dividends. So they're not, they're not losing, man. They're, they're, they're ahead by two or $300 million, okay? Um, I brought it up so that you can, you can actually see how private equity works. I mean, and what you can also get out of this is this, is that when the tide goes out, okay, you know, these business schools, I, I would love to basically sit in for about like a, a semester, you know, to just hear it with my own ears. They teach basically that you lever to the hilt, you grab it as quick as you can, and then say la vie, man. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you know, okay, well, that's going to be someone else's problem. Just like this. They got all the, you know, the headlines, they're losing control of the Phillips lighting business. Well, they could care less, okay, because the bottom line is that they stuck someone else with 100 and, uh, 1.15 billion dollar loan. And this is, no, on top of it, this is a good company. Like all the lights in our cars, okay, and all of this, this is, that's the business they're in. We're talking about a very large business. But guess what? When you load any company up with monster debt, that is a trouble in paradise. I mean, you know, what do they say? Uh, I mean, like, like nothing can go wrong. I mean, literally nothing, okay? And that never happens, man. I mean, the bottom line is that there's always ups and downs. But anyway, I wanted to bring that up because this, <laughs> this one here was like really over the top. But what you got out of this one, which is really cool, is that they don't wait at all. They put it in, it'd be just like me and you. Picture, picture if we could do this. Picture that, uh, just a small business, I guess. So let's say a small business. Let's say, let's say you get a business and the business is doing good and you can buy it for, uh, let's say just $10,000, right? You buy it for 10,000, just so you can get the equation of this. You buy it for 10. Well, we only had to put up 2,500, okay? So you put up 2,500. And the second you have it, right, you basically load up, Okay, you, you turn around and you put twenty thousand on top of the ten, right? And then, oh, and then you turn around and you're gonna take. You only put twenty five hundred up, but you're gonna take five thousand out in dividends. Okay, in the first two years. Well, you just you just made one hundred percent of your money. That's why private equity makes so much money. Dow Dow Industrials right now down one sixty eight. Nasdaq's off four thirty five. S and P's are off. 1425 financial engineering folks that's what we're in and that's when you see events take place and we're going to see them when the tide's going out because of this interest rate structure there's plenty of firms that are basically loaded with debt to the hills stay right there folks come right back
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is down 169. Nasdaq's off 11. S&Ps are off 15. Let's go to our man, Tom in Tampa. Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Yeah, it's nice over here today, man. Blue skies today, bluer tomorrow, man. I know, and we have a couple degrees cool. I, I know, man. When I woke up this morning, I'm saying to myself, it hasn't broken yet, folks, but like 90 is pretty good for us. <laughs> yeah, really, really, especially early in the morning. Exactly. Hey, Tom, uh, Disney, uh, to me, it looks like it's going to get down to around that 111, that gap area we talked about. I don't know, it's been about four or five weeks ago, and it looks like it's going to probably do it less than 13 million. But my only concern about all this is this dollar and if that's going to throw a big old wrench into this whole thing so let's take a look at disney you know what disney did folks okay it broke its downtrend okay and it had wide price spread accelerated volume um yeah what i would do tom i, I this is i think this is going to be a good pickup uh i would just wait because what i suspect will happen is that you know this this might get down to even you know the 104 or something do you know what i mean uh, mm -hmm, right. And if you got it at that, I mean, this is a big break, um, meaning that if we take a look at this, what you're going to see, you know, even if I put it on a weekly, you know, this it, it, what happens in a break, folks, is that you don't really know, like, when it can get back up to the trend line. But the bottom line is that this broke with volume and it's saying it wants to go back to like 156, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I would I would sit there and wait, Tom. And you know maybe okay. you start biting at 104 or something, uh, but okay. I, I think I think that's real action, man. I really do. Okay. All right, Tom. Cooking, brother. Thanks, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 
So market-wise out here, folks, next couple days, you can expect the same deal. Bottom line, there's no buyers. Um, you know, you, you, I, spend this in your head, man, yourself. You want to put money out there and buy? Well, why? Ask yourself why. W-H-Y. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Mm -hmm.